when your mom was at our house and I felt like you're being very rude to me. Okay. And it was humiliating. I was like embarrassed. I was really embarrassed. And so that was like, do I just walk away? I remember like, I don't know where to look, you know, and I get that, you know, I, yeah, I don't know where to look. I'm just, so I'm just kind of like look down and then I didn't want to let that like foment or anything. So I did just have to, have to turn to you and say, you know what, this makes me like really uncomfortable when you speak to me this way. We ended up having a little bit of a fight because I don't think I, I, by the time I got up what I needed to say it, I was like, I was a little bit charged. I know. And I'm like, if I can, I, I feel like I'm justified to fight with you in front of my mom. Like, if I can fight, if I'm going to talk to you about anything, it should be in front of people who are not going to judge us. Hmm, interesting. You know, well, to me, like, like I don't, um, those are people like I wouldn't be hiding anything from. Okay. So on the other hand, it's because I almost see it like the other way around. I, if, if it's someone like out in the world and we have an argument, like if somebody thinks like I chose poorly or you chose poorly or we're being idiots or whatever, like, Hey, I am never going to see you again. Like I couldn't care less. It's also like when I, I've seen like parents with their kids and their kids are being like a little bit annoying. And then the parent, like, it's really angry with the kid, you know, because like you're embarrassing me. And I'm like, this kid might be embarrassing you, but in front of people, he'll never see again. Who cares? You know, and it's kind of the same thing. Like we can, if, if we're like grumpy and we go into a, re, if we're whatever it is, like it doesn't matter. But when it's people who I know, it's like they're going to judge me and I'm going to see them tomorrow. Oh, yeah. But then they're going to give you advice. <laughs> <laughs> or they're going to be like, I feel really sad for I you guys. Really like, you. yeah. That, like, would you rather like people that we love tell us that? Like when we were having difficulties, who who are we? Who are you gonna go to? We, we normally would go to our friends, yeah, yeah, and say like we're fighting because we know like our friends and family members. So, like it's so interesting actually because like I've even thought like you know that you're very also open with your family, like particularly your like host family here in America, right? So I sometimes I start to wonder is one of the things that makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable is that like like they they heard about all of our fights. Okay. From your side of the story. And they don't know your side of the yeah, story? Yeah, and so it's like, you know, it can be sometimes feel like it's like walking into the lion's den. Uh-huh. Which I know is a slightly different topic. So just call still. and tell your side of the no, story. By the way, I know Sarah's <laughs> over there just telling you what an a-hole I am. I'm going to tell you <laughs> what she did and why she deserved whatever. Okay. <laughs> just so you know, like, I say all the things and then they're like, what's your part in it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's good. Um, but I would rather fight in front of people I know. Like if we went to your dad and we were arguing, your dad has been married for so long. That's so funny. Like to He me, has like, some advice no, for us. It makes total sense. What you just said makes sense. Humiliating to me. Okay. Next time we're going to your dad. You're going to pick a fight. <laughs> I'm going to pick a fight. <laughs> and he's going to be, I've been there. No, even last time when we were talking about your dad, like at your dad's house and we brought up stuff in our relationship, he was just like laughing because he looked at his wife and they know, like they've been there. Yeah. So what are better people to go for advice than your father who will love us despite rather than like some random person on the street seeing us fight? You know what? Like that's actually a really, really nice way of looking at it. And it actually makes me... Which kind of like brings up something that I want to actually, I really want to work on. Because I, I, I think very often people do put on like a face. Like we were talking about our friend's sister who was married for a lot of years and knew that her husband had been cheating since like the night they got married. And she just kind of like sucked it up for a long time. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, and so she was putting on an appearance. And obviously she had a wrecked marriage from the time that it started. But yet she kept up the appearances for a long time. And, you know, it's like, I feel like a lot of people do that. Like, you know, my oh, mother and my mother used to say to me something that was interesting. People would get would get divorced. People had been married for 20 years, 15 years. People that seemed so happy. And she'd, can you believe that they got divorced? Like, I remember there was this period of time where people were getting divorced. Um, you know, obviously it was like their kids were like hitting high school because it was when I was in high school. Like, oh, the kids are getting old enough now. We can stop pretending we like each other. Um and I remember it's like all the time, oh, can you believe like of all people it was them, which goes to like to me when I look back on that now, it's like, wow, that would have been. Of course they're getting divorced because I know all their problems. Right. Same you know, ones like, that we have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so 
And also, like, I feel like if my friends were getting divorced, like, my close friends, like, I wouldn't be shocked. Like they, Because they would have talked to you about because it. Because they would have talked to me about it. Like, it, it would not come as a shock if we were, like, we uh, were not getting a divorce because we're not married. But if we were, like, ending our relationship, I don't think any of my close friends would be shocked because... If, if we did right now, people would be shocked, right? Like, yeah. if we had one of those fights, if you... Like, we've had a, f- a few of them where it's just like, is this the end? Which I do, and I admit, like, it's ridiculous. Um, and then I was like, you know what? I'm not doing that anymore. And then it still comes up where we have a fight. I'm like, is this the end? I know the other day we were fighting, and you left, and I was like... Is he ever coming back? <laughs> is he coming back? Should I pack up my stuff and go? And I was like, where am I going? It's during quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> which is, which is so silly. <laughs> which I love, but I guess... I think it's also like good to share that, because I think we do have... Like, I think it's this thing of appearance is, and it, if it doesn't have a big impact in your life, I feel like you're really blessed because it does for me where I want to appear like I've got it more together than I do. I think I do care about other people that I don't know think. Okay. Yeah. For me, it's the opposite. You know, if, I, if I'm never going to see you again, I don't care what you think about me. I, I think I do care what other people, but I don't, I do care what my friends think, but I, I'm not going to pretend like like I, I tend to not be embarrassed about what my friends think yeah. of me, of my relationship. So what, what, like, what is sound like? Since I, I think that's a really good, a really great place to be, because um, I feel like, so I want to kind of hear maybe your advice that you can share with, uh, with our listeners here. Because when I think about, like, yeah, I talk, like, you know, all my very closest friends knew in my you know in my first marriage that i had a lot of challenges and i talked to them about it right okay and i tried like when we were together yeah we could let things like foment underneath the surface or whatever but in general we didn't put on display our challenges those came out in conversations that we had you know Mm -hmm. like hey i need to talk to you but if you actually really feel comfortable being like like out there like what is some of your advice that you would have like how can you do that where you can feel comfortable sharing the fact that your relationship is imperfect and not try and hide it or color it in a different way. I don't know if I have advice, but I can like share what, like, what I do. Is like one is like I I know that I I tend to put people in my life fast, and I know when like my friends need me the most, and like that is something that I learned from my host mom was like if I'm going to a birthday, I'm not putting like I'm not putting a fake show like our relationship is great all i'm doing is like being present with like my friend but when i'm having like that doesn't happen and sometimes like i need i need it most so when we're fighting i'm just if i feel like it's just a normal day with my friends i'm just gonna be me yeah you know so that i'm not hiding anything i don't know if like that's like advice but i say like I try to understand like where my friends are, my friends are at, and where I'm at. So I actually want to share something that I've learned from you now that I think about it. it. Just occurred to me now, which is that if we've been fighting, sometimes when we go in, we almost like have this little like agreement that we're going to let it go. And one thing that you do very often is you come in, you make a joke about the fight that we were having, <laughs> so that people know that we're having a fight, but that we're going to get along. We're going to make light of it, and you do that, and then we'll like there might be a little bit of like friendly poking banter that might be like mm-hmm. might feel funny to other people and we might know like oh that's both funny and kind of stings a little bit but okay i'll take it but then we kind of like that way it's like out in the air yeah hey we fought on our way over here because he was being an idiot or whatever you might say and then i'll you know i'll make some sort of little retort back and we'll make a little joke about it and that way it's kind of feeling like we've acknowledged that we were fighting and we're like everything is not perfect but we're here we and made we're gonna have it. fun and we're going to have fun. Yeah, and we're going to just be here in the moment. Yeah, I know that. I, yeah. And you do that nicely because it also is a way of kind of like closing that chapter and saying like that chapter of that fight is over and we can really be here because the that fight, like a lot of times I think what happens is that we bring that fight with us thinking, well, it's dishonest if I let it go and I don't acknowledge it. But the reality is, is that that fight is not in the present moment anymore, which means no. it's just a memory. It's not something that's really in the now. 
Yeah, and if I need to pick it up later, then I do. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't worry about that. I don't worry about that. I'm not like, oh, wow, she's laughing about it now. Great, it's over. No, 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 no. As soon as that car door closes and we're on our way home. Vroom. But with all that, I am still jealous. Like, I still like have this jealous when I see other couples. Yeah. Especially couples that I don't know because I can just pretend they don't have issues. Uh, you know, my dear, I don't feel that way i i actually don't know i'm sure there's someone in the world that has a better relationship than we have but i don't but i wouldn't i wouldn't bet a million dollars on it you think we have the, one of the best relationships i really do oh. like it's challenging that's sweet to hear it's and there are times when it's really hard but I don't know. Can you imagine saying that on the podcast and then we're breaking up I know. next what week? If, yeah, what if we become Dave and Rachel Hollis? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Well, which reminds me, what, the other thing is well, we went and saw my friend last night who has what she calls the 80-20 rule. Like, you know, 80% of the time I do what I can to eat well, to, you know, take care of the environment, to not use plastic, to, you know, do all that kind of stuff. And then 20% of the time I just can't worry about it because if I try and do 100%, I'm going to fail miserably. And she even said that with her kids. She was like, when she had little kids and they're crying all the time and all this stuff, and she was just like, the 80-20 rule applies to my children. Like 80% of the time I love them with all my heart and 20% of the time I just want them out of my life. <laughs> You Let know, them cry. <laughs> you know, and I was like, well, yesterday I was like, you know what? 80-20 is pretty good. I feel like if you have 80-20, which I feel like we're well, probably even better than 80-20. I agree. I think we're, we're more than... Um, we're more than 80, 20, but we're not a per, we're not perfect. And I think no. if we tried to be perfect, that would actually be the downfall and that we actually have to really revere the, let's just call it 80, 20, but we have to revere the 20% of challenge and difficulty because that's actually, you know, because if we got rid, if we tried to get rid of all of it, then how much of it would have to be faking and maybe it wouldn't really work. Yeah. But I don't know how to fix stuff, but no, no. All right. Well, with that, uh, thank you so very much for joining us on this week's episode of It's Not All Black and White. My name is Sarah. I am black. My name is Matthew, <laughs> and I am white. And this is the Interracial <laughs> Couple Podcast. And make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're watching us here on YouTube. Follow us on TikTok and uh, listen to the podcast wherever you get your podcasts, whether that's Apple Podcasts, Google, Stitcher, Wherever it is, you'll find us there and we'll see you next week. See you next week. Thanks for hanging with us. <laughs>